Are you freaking kidding me? The Crave Spartan. What's up everybody, Craze here, and today I got some Halo Reach gameplay here for you, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Now, I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded anything on this channel, which is kind of a shame, I know, because we have a lot going on. MCC, Halo 5, uh, they've been updated uh, several times since the last time I've up uh, uploaded, I know. Uh, some really cool updates that have been coming out. Um, but I have been kind of taking a break from Halo. I, I know it's kind of weird to say that, but I have. I take a little break, uh, working on some achievements, been working on um, the Lord of the Rings game. I've been really focusing on that. I kind of want to get that completed. Shadow of War is the latest one I'm kind of working on. Really fun game. Love playing it. Uh, definitely recommend both of them if you have never played them. Uh, very good uh, games to pick up. But, and of course, been doing other stuff as well. Work, ugh, work, 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 work. Tell me you don't, don't feel that pain of work. And if you're in still, you're in school, eh, stay in school as long as you can. Because <laughs> once you start working, hey, life, uh, life gets real at that point. But anyways, uh, I've been really excited about this and I'm finally glad glad the news has finally hit the streets MCC is finally getting Halo Reach and I'm going to be super excited about this because one of the things about Halo Reach in its prime days and it was a prime game it was still, it was not Halo 3 by any means but it's had on average about 90,000 players on average throughout its life cycle until about the end of the last year or so and then it kind of died down a bit uh, nowhere near Halo 3 uh, by any means because it had some frustrating things like uh, jetpack, <laughs> armor lock, uh, two of the things I really could do without. But overall though it still held a lot of life in it from the very beginning all the way until the end and that was actually really cool to see. So I'm excited. What is coming? So it is coming to PC and Steam. Now, I don't own a Steam account, but from what I understand, it is about 5,000 times easier to deal with than the Microsoft account. I've heard very good things about the Steam stuff. Uh, again, I don't have I don't have a PC where I'm just going to sit and play FPSs on it or anything like that. I keep it simple. I keep the Warcraft or something like that. Oops, sorry. Sorry, did not mean that. Did not, did not mean that. Maybe a little. <laughs> but anyways, hey, that's that's not how you do that, guy. That's you don't jump off the edge. <laughs> oh man, I love this map because you did see such crazy things like that all the time. And I'm sorry. One of the things, I'm going to go into this a little bit here. One of the things I remember seeing back in the day, we had this thing called Fails of the Week. And one of the fails I saw was the armor ability uh, that the elites have, the evade ability. About two or three enemy players, <laughs> they evaded themselves right off the map, right in a row, just right up here in this little corner. They would come down in right this area, evade, and they would go off the map. And it was pretty hilarious, man. I love that. Fails of the week. That was one of my favorite things that uh, Rooster Teeth did. And then they kind of backed away from it because, you know, you know, they started adding other stuff to it. And I'm just like, nah, I kind of just want to watch my Halo fails because that's just funny stuff. Oh, and... <laughs> Like I said, Halo Reach has a special place in my heart because of so many different things. Uh, the fails of the week that Rooster Teeth did, and they also did something uh, it was called Horse, I think. Uh, Game of Horse. And what that was is people would create these little maps uh, with a specific challenge in mind. 
like making a large jump or a platform or uh, something like that. And it was really kind of cool watching them play these maps and try to complete these little uh, challenges. And it just inspired a whole lot of Forge creations and really inspired a whole lot of uh, just uniqueness. Hello, are you going to jump? Nope. But uniqueness in creation abilities because the Halo Reach's Forge, however it seems archaic now, it was amazing at the time. And the Forge maps, the custom games, I, I can't even tell you. I still say to this day, to this day, Halo 4 and even Halo 5 just don't compare. And I say that not because Halo 5's uh, Forge engine isn't great, because it is. But it just lacks a lot. And a, uh, a lot of the, uh, what do I want to say, the game types. The game types. They, they just, Halo 5 just still doesn't have a whole lot of options in that area. You can create a lot of stuff, absolutely. And it's way better than it was at launch. But at the same time, at the same time, it could have been so much better could have been so much better just game types alone and halo reach comes out with that galore there's game types if you haven't played headhunter you need to play headhunter that is so fun oddball uh, hot potato um just so many different variants i had so much fun playing those variants playing custom games uh playing with friends online family and just have a ton of fun <laughs> invasion invasion think about invasion we've been wanting invasion there's been a call for invasion since halo reach and we have never gotten it back since at least not in a true form they've kind of forged it here and there but not a true invasion format uh which is really kind of cool if you have not played invasion sorry i'm not a good team player i'm just saying if I got rockets in my hand, eh, probably stay out in front of me. D don't don't get in front of me. <laughs> but yeah, we've we've had so many really cool things. Um, uh, stockpile, which is a capture the flag variant, where you had to put all the flags into one one little spot, and then once a the timer ran out, you collected all those flags. There's like three or four flags on a map, and you could take the flags out of the enemy's uh, collection spot, so they would get nothing. <laughs> Just so many really cool variants, and I really loved Halo Reach for that. And don't forget Infection. I said, again, I'm not a huge fan of Infection. However, it had a ton of variants for Infection. Just a ton, which was just amazing to play with. Uh, even uh, solo, you could use that infection game type to create a whole different slew of of game modes, and that's what I loved about Halo Reach. Is there's just so much stuff you could do. So I'm really, really excited. This is finally coming to MCC. Now, a little bit of the details. If you're still with me and not listening to me ramble on too much. But a little bit of the details, it is coming to the Xbox platform and it is going to come in two forms. Okay, the first one is just the multiplayer, Forge, uh, stuff like that. You're going to get all of that hands down, no questions asked. You're going to get those. If you want to upgrade it, if you have MCC, you're going to get all that stuff. If you want to play the campaign and Firefight, you're going to have to purchase the whatever price is or whatever they're going to call it just the i'm going to call it the campaign pack so you can play that play firefight uh do that and entire fun stuff and you can get that however if you have the xbox game pass you get all that ready to go from the beginning which is going to be incredibly awesome so uh, you don't have to pay anything else if you have the game pass I think I'll probably just buy it outright. I do have the Game Pass, but I will probably just buy it outright just because I kind of want that. <laughs> and then, of course, the Steam package, and they're going to roll out that slowly. MCC, the entire thing's coming to, uh, to Steam and the Microsoft uh, PC store. And it's, they're going to start with Halo Reach and move on. They're going to go from Halo Reach, Halo CE 2, 3, and then 4, of course, added. So, 
I'm really kind of excited about this, guys. If you can't tell, I'm excited. The only question I have, the question I have, and I don't know if anybody's asked this, ODST, firefight, yay or nay? But anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you're excited for Hillary, just like I am. But until next time, this is Crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.